Darlene. Let's listen. Thank you. Uh, one, are there any plans being made for the president to meet with uh, Republicans on the Senate Judiciary Committee as a group? same way he met with Democrats on the committee last week? Sure. So uh, he's continuing to engage uh, with Democrats and Republicans uh, about uh, his, uh, pro his Supreme Court process. Uh, I don't have anything to preview or predict in terms of a meeting uh, with the Senate Judiciary Republicans. Okay. Second question. Uh, is there a date for when the President will send his uh, FY23 budget proposal to the Hill? Uh, I don't have a date either for you at this point in time. I think Shalanda Young has conveyed it. It was expected to be after the State of the Union. Okay. And then the last question is, uh, with the Vice President getting ready to go to, to uh, Germany for the Munich Security Conference, can you talk a little bit about what her marching orders from the, pres from the President are? and? Will she be going with any deliverables or any concrete proposals specifically to help Europe deal with its energy and natural gas needs? Well, uh, she will be traveling, as many of you have been following this know, uh, to Munich, Germany, to attend the February 18th to 20th Munich Security Conference. Uh, she will build on the President's and the national security team's intensive engagement with European allies and partners. Uh, and emphasize and continue to emphasize with our partners our ironclad commitment to our NATO allies, underscore our commitment to Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity, and reaffirm our shared interest in upholding the principles that have underpinned European peace and security. She'll be participating in the formal pro conference, formal program of the conference, as well as engaging with allies and partners and meeting with leaders on the margins. I know her team is planning for a uh, preview call for all of you, uh, I believe later this evening, to give you more details of those bilateral meetings. But I would say in terms of uh, her engagements and what the president expects, uh, he expects uh, and knows, given she is the first in the room and the last in the room, that she will continue to uh, convey to the rest of the world, uh, again, our ironclad commitment to our NATO allies, our, our commitment to defending the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Ukraine, and our uh, commitment to putting in place severe economic consequences should Russia invade. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, can you comment on uh, Russia's investigation into claims of alleged mass graves of civilians supposedly killed by Ukrainian forces in the Russian-controlled regions in eastern Ukraine? Uh, do you believe this is part of, of the false flag oper operations that you've been warning of? Sure. Well, let me start by saying, uh, as you heard the president say yesterday and Secretary Blinken earlier today, we're in the window where we believe an attack could come at any time, uh, and that would be preceded by a fabricated pretext that the Russians use as an excuse to launch an invasion. And we've seen, and we've talked about this a bit in here, we've seen these tactics used uh, in the past. Um, so those could include, uh, but not be limited to, the report you just referenced, uh, claims of crop provocation in Donbass, false state media reports, which I think you should all, everybody should keep their eyes open and aware of that potential, uh, faked videos, false accusations about chemical weapons or accounts of attacks on Russian shoulders that have not actually occurred. So it, there could be a range of um, false flags and pretexts that we would expect would uh, precede uh, an invasion. Uh, and again, we remain in that window.